So you have this kalimba, it's a beautiful instrument, but you want to record it. Well, I'm gonna show you a few ways that you can record this beautiful instrument and we'll go from easiest to hardest. I actually made a video on how to play the kalimba. It covers many of the basics. And so even if you know some of the basics, but you want a refresher, I would make sure and check out that video and I'll put a link of it in the description. The first way to record the kalimba and the easiest way is to just use your phone. The thing is, is that the microphone on your phone is probably better than you think. Often when we're talking on the phone or recording in Telegram or whatever, you know, messaging app, the quality is compressed to make the sound file smaller. But what you can do is find special apps. This one is called Audio Recorder for Android. Um, and I don't have an iPhone, so I can't tell you what app will work for you. But there are plenty of audio recording apps. But the key is to actually go into the settings of the app and change the sample rate. You want to do the highest quality possible. So for example, this um, th by default, this app records at 16 kil kilohertz. And so if you want a higher quality recording, you wanna go as high as you can, and then you can just use that to record. So I'm gonna show you what that sounds like if I record the kalimba using that method. Now, past that, you can use more professional microphones that hook to USB, such as the Blue Yeti. There are excellent microphones that are you know, pretty, pretty inexpensive. You can get them for under $150, and they're really, really good quality, and you can use those, and you can position them similar to how I'm gonna show you for uh, other microphones. You can use condenser microphones or dynamic microphones. I will show you the difference between a dynamic SM57 and a condenser mic. So here's the condenser microphone. All right, here's the dynamic microphone. I definitely prefer the sound of the condenser mic for the kalimba, but your your tastes may vary as well as your microphone. But often with those those dynamic microphones, you make sure you get very close. The condenser mics, you can give it a little bit of room, but um, those dynamic mics need to be right there. You can furthermore find electric kalimbas that actually have pickups, and April Yang sponsors many of these, and I'll link uh, to those in the description. So that's another way you can actually plug the, micro, the kalimba straight into an audio interface. Now, if you're using um, these professional dynamic, qual, um, dynamic or condenser mics, you often have to use an audio interface with microphone cables. There is some complexity to that. If you're going to use a Blue Yeti, make sure, or any of those microphones, make sure to select the recording mode to cardioid. So it's more of the, the tight heart shape as much as possible and point it directly at your recording source. If you haven't already, I would make sure and check out this video. Thanks for watching.